So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, Puppy Blues. For those who don't know what that is, um, it is a bit like postpartum baby blues, but with puppies. <laughs> so yes, it is a real thing. Um, I am going to cover in this video how the first few days went, uh, sharing the support I received, as well as what tricks really helped me. So I had done all the research possible before getting my puppy. Um, I chose to go to a council licensed uh, breeder for Cocker Spaniels. After much consideration and research, uh, my last dog, who was a family dog, was a rescue and sadly had aggression issues. Um, and with my current two cats, who were not dog savvy, rescues could not guarantee the behavior of cat tested dogs once in a home environment. So I went to the breeder, saw the mother and father um, of the puppies, uh, inspected the place, uh, saw the paperwork, and picked the puppy. Um, that was my childhood dream, being in a litter of puppies and being able to pick one and take one home. Um, so then when little Joey came home, um, after the first night, I, I just mentally collapsed. Um, I was materially prepared, but not emotionally prepared. I cried several times a day, um, especially in the shower. It was the only place I could be completely alone. Um, I did not realize what I had was puppy blues till I googled, just got a puppy, why can I not stop crying? Um, that was the first time that I realized this is a real thing. Um, luckily, what helped me a lot was emotional support from uh, puppy support groups on Facebook. Um, there are tons and tons of people who struggle um, with puppy blues. There were even polls in the group on which was harder to care for, children or puppies. And guess what? Puppies won. <laughs> um, so everyone w was so supportive. Um, I'm going to show a few supportive comments here. Uh, so feel free to pause the video uh, and read them. They are very encouraging and um, the, the group really got me through the first two grueling months. Um, but as the months progressed, it did get better. But just to give you an idea of how bad it actually was, I was thinking on a daily basis that I wanted to give the puppy back uh, to the breeder. Um, it was not till about uh, a little while after I brought Joey home that I felt a tiny brief spark of love for him. Uh, this was when I uh, called him to come cuddle and he hopped onto my laps and he curled up. My puppy blues was triggered by the wave of an enormous sense of responsibility you suddenly experience from having this tiny living creature depend entirely on you, uh, not being able to leave the house anymore for a little while. Most daycares and um, pet sitters won't take puppies under a certain age. Um, not having a minute to yourself anymore uh, because they follow you everywhere, even to the toilet. Um, and I felt like I was watching the puppy like a hawk 24-7 that I even forgot to eat. There were days where I would only have one meal and I was not the only one. Uh, several people from the support group said that they lost... Um, lost. Several people from the group said that they lost a lot of weight from the stress and forgetting to take care of themselves as well. Um, what kept me going was the emotional support and knowing that if I do give it my, if I don't give it my all before deciding whether or not to give up the puppy, I will regret it for the rest of my life. I also kept telling myself um, to get to that three month mark, uh, which is that it takes a dog three days of feeling overwhelmed uh, and nervous, three weeks uh, of settling in, three months of building trust and bonding with you. I will display on screen the little notes I made about the day to day um, at the very beginning. Journaling um, did really help me a lot when I had just too much going on. So uh, feel free to pause the video and read them um, if you think they will be helpful. Now, things that were a lifesaver for me at the beginning, uh, puzzle feeders, uh, which is putting food into puzzles and making your puppy or dog use their mind 
to get them out. Um, this gives you, you not only some uh, time to yourself, but it tires the puppy out as well. Uh, crate training. Um, I was not too sure about crate training at first, but I thank God I did crate train. Uh, they are a godsend for imposed naps. Puppies are apparently like toddlers. They turn into baby sharks when they are overtired. Um, so imposing nap time like you would to a child was a lifesaver. He instantly started getting less nippy um, when I started imposing naps. At the beginning, uh, my mental health was in the drain. Um, I was in a hole of depression from sleep deprivation and the pressure. Uh, but I am now so extremely proud of myself for seeing it through because Joey has become one of the loves of my life. My advice is definitely to get support, um, someone who can remind you to eat and give you a break uh, throughout the day so that you can have some you time, some time to yourself. Um, again, I was at the verge, literally, um, about to pack up Joey's things and drive him back to the breeders, and I thank God I didn't. Uh, it does get better, just make sure to look after yourself in the time being as well, um, if you are currently going through this. Um, do not hesitate to reach out to people for help. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you would like to join our little pack, please subscribe, and good luck!